Hello Aquarius, welcome to Faith Connection 777. We're going to do a general reading for you. I'm talking about love, career, and anything else that comes out. Hope you're doing well, Aquarius. Keep in mind these are general readings, so not all of the messages here are going to resonate with every single person. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. I really appreciate it. Let's get right into it for you, Aquarius. We're going to pull one of these Mystical Shaman Oracle cards. See what kind of messages I can pull out of it. And then we will get into the tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius, December 2020? This one right here. <laughs> Wild Woman, number 62. Somebody here is very free-spirited. Okay, this is either you or someone you are connecting with. This is awesome. Somebody is doesn't have a care in the world. Liberated. Somebody here feels very liberated. Okay, let's find out what's going on. What's going on with Aquarius spirit? Now, even if you're a male, this could be you as well. This is, you know, we all have feminine and masculine energies within us. So don't um, think that this card should be someone else if you are a man. Um, this could be you in a very free spirited way. Tell me what's coming in for Aquarius, December 2020, Spirit. What's coming in for Aquarius, December 2020. We have the Eight of Swords. Some kind of repeating pattern in your life here. Something that needs to be learned. We have a Nine of Cups. Interesting. A wish fulfilled here. What else, Spirit? We have the Strength card, card of Leo. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Holding back, possibly. Someone's being closed off. Someone here is trying to be confident. Then we have a wish fulfilled here. Interesting. Let's clarify. Really want to know what this Eight of Swords is all about. Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay. So you're connecting with someone here. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Very much doesn't have to be. But here's an individual, um, this could be you as well, Queen of Swords, just the feminine energy in this connection um, that has been kind of cold and standoffish and not really opening up here. Okay, this could be you, like I said, these energies flip-flop in reverse. We have the Page of Cups. So someone here is, an envision is envisioning their life with you um, or you're envisioning your life with an individual here and trying to see if you can make it work. Um, I think somebody here, someone here needed to change in order for a relationship to work here. We need evolution to happen in this relationship. Um, but I see a cycle of somebody saying that they're going to change and the the cycle repeats and they haven't changed okay so we have we want we want this change to happen but it keeps repeating okay take this how it resonates for your specific situation we have the lovers card the card of gemini but this is a very passionate connection you have with this individual you're very attracted to them um you love them very much uh you're trying to see if you can make it work with them you really want it to but it, it's been very challenging with this individual okay this person could be the wild person in this card they just uh 
It's like you've been trying to tame them with the strength card here. It's like you've been trying to get them to settle down or stop spending all your money or get them to stop partying and drinking so much or, you know, something of that nature. You're trying to get them to chill out. We have this four of pentacles here and this is somebody who's closed off. Tell me more about this four of pentacles, possibly even with money as well. We have a knight of wands here. Okay. This is a player energy. This is somebody who, uh, wants things their way a little bit immature. Um, they don't, they want to have fun. They want to party. Okay. <laughs> These two people look like they want to dance together. Um, I feel like if I had to guess, this person just really isn't mature enough to settle down into a mature relationship, okay? They could be a little bit cold and standoffish, and this could be you as well at times. You two go back and forth and mirror each other as well. We have the Hierophant. This is the card of Taurus, but you have some kind of divine guidance in this situation here, okay? Whoever, possibly in the spiritual realm, possibly even with a counselor, if you two are, you know, in a higher level of commitment and you're seeking counseling or something like that, but you have guidance from the outside because I think that there is a call for change here. Someone is, someone needs to evolve. Someone needs to grow up. Someone needs to If you both want this relationship to work, you both might have to change here, okay? We have the Four of Voices. This is like the Four of Swords. This is like healing from something here, okay? Possibly even from a breakup. If this, you, you feel very passionate and attracted to this individual, but it's possible they're just not ready for uh, the level of commitment or the the type of relationship that you want. It just feels like you're both on two different wavelengths here. Okay. And it feels like you need to heal from them, possibly taking a break, taking a time out and letting them be on their own for a while so that they can figure it out. Let them go party, let them go take care of what they need to and, um, enjoy themselves without you because you're trying to tame them and you're trying to control them possibly even as well. And it's not going to work. Okay. This person, either you or them, they see you as being bitchy at times and it pushes them away. Okay. Ace of inspiration. You really, 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 really want to make this work Aquarius. Okay. With the ace of wands, you really want to make this work. It feels frustrating for somebody here because they really want it to work and they're trying to force force it to make it happen or force it into being and you really can't do that, okay? We have the sun here, beautiful, a positivity in the deck here. I think that if you let go and let the situation play out, Aquarius, you will find happiness just being calm and, and letting this flow. Let this relationship flow. Stop trying to control the outcome here. Stop wishing and hoping and praying all the time that things will be different than what they are. Just let it evolve on its own, okay? You can't force this person to to be who you want them to be. You can't force them to uh, settle down if, if they're not ready to. And if you're not ready to settle down, they can't force you either. They can't be giving you ultimatums and holding things over your head. Uh, that doesn't work, okay? <laughs> That's not going to work. Um... So I would encourage you all to seek guidance. Um, even, you know, just with a friend who has more experience. If your friends are telling you things like this person doesn't seem serious about you or they just feel, you feel it, they, they're feel, picking up an energy of this person is kind of playing you. If that's the case here, Aquarius, uh, listen to your friends. Listen to that guidance and let this person go, you know, if they're going to come back to you, they will. But for now, I think that you're trying to force things to happen and it, it's not, it's not going to play out in your favor. Okay. Let's see what else I can pull from this. What final message do you have for Aquarius in this situation here with this individual? 
possible they will evolve and change here, though, okay? Because you do have a wish granted. So for some of you, this this person will get their act together. Others of you, it, it's time to let it go. But I don't know that you're going to be able to let it go because of this lover's card. You just are really, really in love or attracted to this person, okay? We have an eight of wands, okay? Some kind of message coming forward here. Some kind of message that, you know, they want to change or that they want uh, something more from you or they're willing to go to counseling or something like that. They're ready to open up. Somebody here is closed off. And then you have a Ten of Swords. They may have actually betrayed you in the past as well. They may have said, I want things to be better between us. I want to change. I want our relationship to grow and evolve. And that straight up did not happen, okay? They may have betrayed you on that front as well. If that's the case, this person keeps duping you into thinking that they're going to keep working on it. And they're not. I feel like um, it feels like betrayal here. Uh, you're, it, it's, it's a lot of work. This relationship feels like a lot of work. This person's closed off. They want to party too much. They're immature. They, they, they want one day and they don't the next. They're cold. They're off and on. They're, yeah. <laughs> but then we have the Ace of Cups coming out. So it's possible that you could have a renewed love for them. Like it, they goes in cycles where you guys fight and then you get back together and it's passionate and loving and but it's also possible you have a new love that's better suited to you coming in here, Aquarius, that you need to let this person go. Let go of this past energy and bring forth this new love interest, okay? If this is the same person, that's cool. Let it come forward. If it's not, let this person go. If they've betrayed you in some way, if you feel like they're just playing games and they're not interested in moving this along, it's time to let it go because you have a new love coming in. Very cool. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you guys. I encourage you also to check out my new channel. It's called Faith Intuition. I have love and career readings over there, so I will leave a link to it below. Go check it out when you get a chance. All right, thanks, guys, for watching. I will see you in the next one.